Why truth requires proof is culture is a textual analysis viewed through my lens, which is grounded in numerous theories and captured and framed in podcasts 120 and verbalized in 13 chapters of publication 231 in ISBN 978-976-9668911. Truth can only be seen by those with truth in them. He who does not have truth in his heart will always be blind to her. And there's your proof. Fashion does not have to prove that it is serious. It is the proof that intelligent frivolity can be something creative and positive. Ralph Linton, through his lens, in 1945, captured and framed the theory culture. I quote, the culture of a society is the way of life of its members, the collection of ideas and habits, which they learn, share, and transmit from generation to generation, end quote. I, like Ralph Linton, symbolically speaking, through my lens as an author, cinematographer, media arts specialist, licensed cultural practitioner and publisher have captured, framed and contextualized why truth requires proof is culture. This positive theory has ignited my passion and imagination to the extent I was also inspired to analyze and validate why truth requires proof is culture through the abstract lens of truth, proof, and culture. In context, navigating this conversation, I thought that it was prudent to add value to my repertoire by employing the construct why, since it is critical to this discourse and It functions as an interactive, interrogative technique. To this end, this decision gave me a clear pathway to consider and include all relevant factors which are consistent with my philosophy, meaning to the extent that I am better equipped to navigate and explore the cause and effect relationships underline this pertinent expression question why truth requires proof is culture. Ostensibly, the philosophized expression question why truth requires proof is culture is perceived as a way of life. I am cognizant of the fact that perception, according to Yolanda Williams, a psychology professor, can be defined as our way to recognize and interpret information we have gathered through our senses. Perception relates to psychology and psychology is the study of behavior and mental processes. While perception is how we react to situations, for instance, or behavior towards that situation. Another word often associated with perception is sensation. They are often used interchangeably. However, sensation is the process of re-evaluating information from the world into the brain. Ali Dog. We use our senses to detect and recognize something which then allows us to process the information and discover the emotions and react to the situation we see, which is perception. There are two types of theories to perception. There is the self-perception theory and the cognitive dissonance theory. There are many theories about different subjects in perception. There are also disorders that relate to perception even though you may think perception is just a person's viewpoint. Further, 
It should be noted that, according to Jim Taylor, Ph.D., perception acts as a lens through which we view reality. Our perceptions influence how we focus on, process, remember, interpret, understand, sensitize, decide about, and act on reality. In doing so, our tendency is to assume that how we perceive reality is an accurate representation of what reality truly is. End quote. Equally, and in practice, this abstract promotes intellectual thinking, whereby making available to me license to break down this expression question into its parts so that I may learn what they do and how they relate to one another since they are seemingly comporting themselves as the property of being or an umbrella expression. That said, at this juncture, here is where abstract thinking creates the environment to absorb information because all senses and make connections to the wider world. Consequently, the framework of this cultural discourse, to some extent, legitimizes the nature, the tone, and the tenor of this conversation. Further, it should also be noted that I will also logically and sequentially explore in the context whether or not it appears that the lean philosophy that refers to the approach considers any use of time and resources which does not lead directly to creating a product as waste and therefore a target for elimination influences in this environment. Metaphorically speaking, I have applied in context the macro lens to capture a close-up view of all elements associated with this topic so that I can explicitly verbalize how culture encompasses the social behavior and the norms which are found in human societies. Although why truth requires proof is culture can be manipulated to behave like a philosophized question that comprises what Wikipedia argues as a philosophical position, consists of statements logically which are believed to be true by the thinkers who accept them and which may or may not be empirical, yet the expression question will be answered via reason. Theoretically speaking, culture is interpreted in context as or in accord with fact or reality. According to Stephen Lahanus, reality isn't so much changing in this view as it is literally expanding as all understanding of it grows and matures. In addition, according to Wikipedia, the method used to determine whether something is a truth is termed a criterion of truth. To some, truth is viewed as the correspondence of language or thought to an independent reality in what is sometimes called the correspondence theory of truth. All things being equal, I am also cognizant of the fact that according to pdd.com, proof is derived from the Latin term prober, meaning test, approve or demonstrate. Proof means the evidence or argument establishing a fact or the truth of a statement. Whereas, prove means demonstrating the truth or existence of something by evidence or argument. Of note, according to wikipedia.org, I quote, Various theories and views of truth continue to be debated among scholars, philosophers, and theologians. Language is a means by which humans convey information to one another, end quote. Therefore, it is highly plausible that all Germanic languages, besides English, have introduced a terminological distinction between truth, fidelity, and truth, factuality. To put it succinctly, 
since all the abstracts, constructs, and theories employed in this text are being considered as equal, so as not to conflate this scholarly conversation, navigating this topic, why truth requires proof is culture, draws our attention to the fact that, abstractly speaking, proof is sufficient evidence or a sufficient argument for the truth of this posited theory. Proof theory can be described as the study of the general structure of mathematical proofs and of arguments with demonstrative force as encountered in logic. The idea of such demonstrative arguments, that is, ones the conclusion of which follows necessarily from the assumptions made, is central in Aristotle's Analytica Posteriore. A deductive science is organized around a number of basic concepts that are soon understood without further explanation, and a number of basic truths or axioms that are seen as true immediately. Defined concepts and theorems are reduced to these two, the latter true proof. Aristotle's account of proof as demonstrative argument fits very well to the structure of ancient geometry as optimized in elucid. The specific form of Aristotle's logic, the theory of syllogism, has instead, so it seems, almost nothing to do with proofs in Eludician geometry. These proofs remain intuitive for more than 2,000 years. I must confess that as an author, cinematographer, media art specialist, licensed cultural practitioner and publisher, the aforesaid logic has excited my passion and motivation simultaneously activating my cognitive skills and allowing me to navigate my cognition lens also helped me to make a distinction between truth and proof, no pun intended. Working backwards, why truth requires proof is culture is to start with the final solution and work back one step at a time to get to the beginning. It may also be helpful for us to understand that this is useful in many aspects of life, not just solving math problems. However, a word of caution though, in this ambience as a practitioner, I am fully conscious of the fact that truth is the state or quality of being true to someone or something. On the other hand, in other spheres of academia, we must also be clear that proof is countable, an effort, process, or operation designed to establish or discover a fact or truth, an act of testing, a test, and a trial. Now that it is plausible why truth requires proof is culture, hence it is one of the most important questions that I've ever tried to analyze, especially since analyzing the meaning and scope of truth and proof, which is elusive, is also perceived and interpreted differently by many on this coin as a way of life. In other words, culture is defined as an umbrella term which encompasses the social behavior and norms found in human societies, as well as the knowledge, beliefs, arts, laws, customs, capabilities, and habits of the individuals in these groups. In conclusion, I must confess that the application theory of cross-referencing in this context has to do with what has been verbalized and is also applicable to what is referenced in the content of this thesis, why truth requires proof is culture. I have also taken into account the processes for creating 
and maintaining the content and the systems such as the abstract lens of truth, proof, and culture that support the content. This strategy allowed me to better position and to capture and frame the positive theory, juxtaposed against Ralph Linnes' theory, culture. I quote, the culture of a society is the way of life of its members, the collection of ideas and habits which they learn, share, and transmit from generation to generation, end quote. Against the background of this philosophical expression question, why truth requires proof is culture. Succinctly put, why truth requires proof is culture is a textual analysis viewed through many lands, grounded in numerous theories, and captured and framed in podcasts 120 and verbalized in 13 chapters of publication 231 in ISBN 978-976-966891.